Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today is the 3rd of December uh, 2018. We are in Baghdad in the Muruda graveyard. The Muruda Sheikh Amar graveyard. And somebody called this Saljuqi graveyard. And you can see this old monument. You see, who are the Saljuqi? The Saljuqi are the people who came from Central Asia and established a great spa, a, a, a state and which was actually, its capital was in Konya, in, in actually in uh, Turkey nowadays. They came like tribes and nations to come and establish a state, which is a part of this. Their state was in the 11th century, uh, uh, in the 11th century. Why we are here today? We are here today to see our future, to see our future life, to see our destiny, our destiny, to see our end and beginning and our new life. Here could be kings, queens, presidents, princes, princesses, lords, sheikhs, amir, ministers, rich men, billionaires, trillionaires, millionaires, all are equal, one meter by two meters. Nothing different between all of them. Today, when we look at a great country like Iraq, where the civilization started here, the first place between the two rivers, the two great rivers, Euphrates and Tigris, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them to be two of the three heavenly rivers on earth, the first community, the first society was established. The first state was established. The first law for humanity was established. The first printing and writing was established as well. The first civilization was established. And after that civilization, after civilization, after civilization from the Papillion, Assyrian, and other civilization came later on, which could be the Persian civilization later on. Uh, the, then the Arabs came, then the Turk came, the, uh, the Umayyad, the Abbasiyin, as well as the uh, Osmaniyin as well. So these two rivers, which goes from Turkey, Syria to Iraq, on their banks, many civilization, many renaissance, many, many, many new scientific discoveries, and many ulama, and many scholars, and many scientists, and many thinkers, and many artists came from these places on the river banks of these two great rivers. Every individual in this area at that time who were civilization builders, were relying heavily on the rivers as well as the land of this country. Everybody was able to be a part of building a great civilization. Everyone was living together as for different culture, different languages, different values. Even at the time of the Khilafa Islamiyya, at the time, the courtyard of the Khalifa used to include the most pious people, the scholars, the seculars, the liberals, the atheists, and was accommodating, was all inclusive. My message nowadays to the youth who are following the division, the political division, or the theological division, or the sectarian division of the society, do not follow sectarianism, do not follow the division. Because this, is the, this division is created by the people who are anti-humanity, anti or people who are trying to steal the resources of our countries <coughs> and dividing us into Shia, Sunni, Salafi, Sufi, and others. For myself, I declare from this place, which is a heavenly place, because it's a part of heaven, all these graveyards, most of the people here, alhamdulillah, are in heaven and enjoying themselves waiting for the day of judgment. I am Sufi because the Prophet ﷺ was Sufi in a part of his life. I am Shi'i because I love Al-Bayt like anybody else. Nobody can 
tell me that I don't love Ali al-Bayt alayhim salam ajma'im. And I am Sunni because I follow the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And I am Salafi because I follow Salaf al-Salih in their teaching and their steadfastness to implement Islam and to apply Islam and to let Islam to serve humanity. So whoever come to you to tell you to divide you and these four sects or other tell them be away we are people in this piece of land the holy piece of land between the two rivers Euphrates and Tigray have built the great civilization for humanity have taught humanity to understand what humanity is about and to come and see us here don't ever divide us we're going to live together young men and young women together who are going to live to build the future of civilization, the future of the new renaissance and the futures of science and technology and the inclusivity of our culture and values and our religion. Don't let our enemies to divide us. Don't let our enemies to come and to cut us into pieces, tablighi, jama'at islami, and they produce here a lot of, a lot of, of extremist organizations which nobody knows where they came from. Nobody knows what values they have. And the Islam is quite far, 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 far away from them. And they do not represent Islam. Iraq for us is not any country, is not any piece of land. Because Allah loved this piece of land by giving her two great rivers to build on its banks the greatest civilization that humanity knew from the papillion time up till now days and what we need that those youth young men and women of today young men and women who wants everything to become easy they earn money easily they learn the knowledge easily no way our great grandfathers and mothers on this piece of land build the civilization on the or on the banks of Euphrates and Tigris in this area with their own hands with their own mind with their own feet they struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled to produce science technology knowledge for humanity before anybody else they discovered what no other nation has discovered they built the Renaissance, what there's no other nation has built before them. And this is how we were blessed to have these two great rivers here and to live on them. Don't ever ignore agriculture. Don't ever ignore agriculture products and the industry of agriculture product and milk product industry and, 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 and. And be deceived by the oil. Oil was not there at the time of the papillion. Gas was not there at the time of the papillion and this were not there at the time of the papillion. Okay, why? It was the will of the people who were living on the river banks to build such a great civilization and to be the first of the first of the first community to establish civilization on earth. Life is not about easy ride or easy earning or easy learning. Civilization is about how can we change humanity for the best and we should be the best to serve humanity. And look at all these people. This is our place, my place, as well as your place. And our place, no, yeah, we knew that. We knew that, that actually we are going to be here sooner or later whether we like it or not. So when we come back to our country, Iraq, again, we can tell the youth, don't be distracted by Arab idols, Arab got talents. Don't be distracted by the X factors. Don't be distracted by the easy one. You have to, we have to work very hard to reestablish civilization and rebuild our Renaissance again and again and again. And you have to thank God of giving us these two great rivers and never ever, never ever, never ever actually ignore our rivers and our land. Coming back, why the Seljuk came here? 
working from Central Asia to establish this, to build their state and reach Baghdad because they believe in the richness of this land and the great culture of the people and the value of the human being used to live here. Not only the Seljuk and everyone from the Papillion time up till nowadays. Don't let anybody to let you feel that you are poor, deprived or ignorant or marginalized. You are a great nation and you will build a great nation and you will build a great civilization. So to conclude, young men and women, I'm going to tell you again, I am Sufi, I am Salafi, I am Shia, I am Sunni, because I love each and every one of them. I also I follow Tablighi and I follow other uh, divisions or new, new terminology in the Islamic terminology, because if they want to divide us through this, we have to reunite ourselves by listening to pro the proper teaching of Islam and the proper teaching of humanity and we should be living as a human being and the humanity can accommodate everyone and anyone and all of us inshallah so nothing is going to be easy for us we have to strive we have to stand firm and we have to keep building our country by our own land and never 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 ignore Yefrit and Tigray and the land around it and stop believing that import is more important than productivity. Import never was equal or important as productivity. Keep producing, keep producing, keep producing. Productivity means independence and importing means uh, imperialism of or, or colonialism of the countries or the companies who are actually exporting their product to us. Please, 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 please look at what God has given us of great, of great value of life, which is Yufrit and Tigray River. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.